The EA app is finally replacing Origin for good. But what does this mean for your Steam Deck? Well, fortunately, we have managed to get the EA desktop app up and running on the Steam Deck, which was a bit of a problem before. Unfortunately, this still isn't working via the standard method of installing it via Steam and using Proton Experimental. If you do go through that process, you will get as far as it launching, but it will just hang on the launcher with a black rectangle. We've tried multiple versions of Proton for this, including the Bleeding Edge Experimental, and unfortunately, nothing is getting this working right now. However, that's not the end of the story. Fortunately, the version through Lutris is working just fine. So if you don't have Lutris already, go to the Discover Store and then just search for Lutris, as you'll see right here. You can see I've already got it installed, so just open that up once it's downloaded. Now I have tried to get a few other things working in Lutris in the past and not had great success, but this was very easy and worked first time. So once Lutris is open, hit the plus up in the top left and then say search the Lutris website for installers and type EA app. Now I'm still stuck in the EA desktop app as that's what it used to be called, but they seem to have dropped the desktop part now. So just do that. It says open beta because it's still using the old version from the tag point of view, but it is the latest version. So just say install on this once you've selected it, leave the source as download and hit continue and let this run. Now I will warn you, this does take around 10 to 15 minutes from this point, but you can't just leave it be, unfortunately. After a couple of minutes, I had a dependency pop up and you will most likely get this as well if you haven't used Lutris much in the past. So once it starts whizzing through, after about two to three minutes, I got a pop-up saying that it was missing this Wine Gecko installer. So it will pause at this point, so just hit install, and then this will continue through. So from this point, it'll take another five to 10 minutes, depending on all of the dependencies. And then for some reason, where I thought it was actually completing, the EI desktop app window came up, but it stayed on this kind of blue screen. I did leave it a few minutes and it didn't progress. So what I needed to do was just go and close the EA app that had popped up during this install. By switching to it on the desktop mode, and right clicking and hitting exit. If you're wondering how I'm navigating through all this, this is using the ReI4 wireless keyboard, which is an absolute godsend for working in desktop mode on the Steam Deck. Once I'd quit that out, after about 30 seconds, it finished installing, and now hitting launch ran the EA app just fine. So from this point, you can just log in as normal and start navigating around the EA desktop app. Now I have chosen Battlefield 2042 to try and see if this is working. This wasn't working previously through Origin or Steam directly, so I don't have high hopes of this working on the EA desktop app, but it's worth a try. If it works, you'll see a gameplay on the channel very soon. If you want to add this to game mode, as you saw at the beginning, then you just need to come into the Steam library, hit add a game in the bottom left, add a non-Steam game, and because Lutris is a flat pack that Steam recognizes, you can just hit Lutris from the very first list and say add selected games. Now that's it, when you switch to game mode, it will run Lutris natively and you can run the EA app from within Lutris in game mode and then continue the download as you'll see here. If you want to install apps onto external storage, then check out our auto mount install script in the description below. And if you want to make the icons all nice like you saw on the other apps here that are not Steam installed, then we also have a video on how to fix the graphics as well. As I said, I continue to download Battlefield 2042. I will test it out to see if it runs, but for some reason, the download is being very slow. I'm not sure this is because the EA app is getting hammered or whether the EA app is just slower in general than Origin was before. Let us know in the comments below what your experience is of the EA app running in Lutris. And if there's anything else that you guys come across to try and speed this up or get it working in Steam, feel free to let us know and we'll keep you all updated. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.